Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. So in this video, we're going to do another dividend income update and this one is for the month of February. And we're also going to go over my Webull account because we're going to look at the two free stocks that I got from Webull. But before we begin, if you are new to the channel, my name is Dredd and I post personal finance and dividend investing videos and currently I am documenting my journey in paying off my student loans. So if you're interested in seeing how everything unfold or just want to show your support, then subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and then share this video to a friend of yours. Now with that out of the way, let's get back to the video. All right, so here we are on the dashboard of Weibo. As you can see, all the positions that I have is right here. We still have AGNC, we have GNL, we have Good, we have Land, NRZ, O, PCI, SCHH, STAG, and then T or ATNT. Now if you've pretty much noticed, I have a lot of reads because that's what I like. You know, they're very, at least for me, I consider them very safe, very stable, and all that. Now anyway, let's go to the dashboard right here, to the main one, to the bull icon as I like to call it. As you can see here, my account value is now up to $6,000 and you know, we've been like gaining at least like $136. You know, um, we've been continuing uh, investing or at least adding more uh, money to this account, like at least $100 every month. So that's why, you know, you see like this uh, changes in here as well. And I've been continuing doing that ever since. Now let's go over to the, to the values right here. We have AGNC at 13 shares, GNL at 78, good at 36. Land at 21 shares, NRZ at 27, O at 11, we have PCI 14, we have SHH with 2, STAG with 36, and then T with 24. Now, right now, as of you know, the time of this recording, uh, T, NRZ, and then Good, you know, and also AGNC are not, you know, they're not green. They're all experiencing, you know, downward trends. They're basically, you know, on the red. And that's pretty much okay for me because I am a long-term investor. I am a long-term dividend investor. So I don't really care much about the fluctuations in prices. I really care more about the dividends that I get than, and the income that I can generate from these dividend stocks. So aside from looking at the value of my portfolio right now, let's look at the changes that I've made with this account. Now let's go over to the more right here and orders. And then you'll see there are two ones right here on the top. It kind of saddens me that there aren't any labels or like a what time you actually like, you know, bought them because I made two changes or kind of like additions really. I added more to NRZ with 10 shares. I bought it at around, um, as you can see here, uh, 971. You know, I bought it at that price because I wanted to just like make sure that I was buying it below $10. And there you go, it was at 971, so it was a perfect grab for me. And then the next one, I bought it at the same day as well, uh, February 23. And then I bought extra shares of good. Now, these two stocks are both REITs, you know, real estate investment trusts. I like them. I really want to, you know, add more to my current position, to my current REIT stocks. I want to add more to, um, aside from good and NRZ, I definitely want to add more to land. You know, I also wanted to add more into realty income, which is O, and also at stag as well. I might... I'm thinking of like adding different uh, REIT stocks that out there that are pretty good, you know. But I still have to research as what are actually good for me. So I still need to do that one. But anyway, yeah, that's the plan. I really want to add more to my REIT stocks just because like I feel very safe with them. It feels like I'm already owning real estate even though I don't. But that's just my thinking, you know. So anyway, if we actually go over to the more button right here, let's go over the funds. Because that this is pretty much what this video is all about. It's all about the dividends that I've made. So let's go over the, okay, so just all type. Let's look at the dividends. And there we go. We have dividends right here. Almost like, what, a lot, actually. We have T, PCI, AGNC, O, STAG, GOOD, and then LAND. And there we go. Now, let's go over to the first one, which is AT&T on the 1st of February with $9.88. PCI on the 1st as well with $2.44. We have AGNC on the 9th of February with $1.56. Then on the 16th, we have O with $2.58. You know what? I kind of feel bad that I'm not adding much to O because I feel like it's such a winner, to be honest. It's like the best monthly dividend company out there. Now, that's not financial advice. That's just my personal opinion. I really like this company. But anyway, Stag on the 16th as well with $4.35. And then we have Good on the 26th with $4.26. And then Land finally on the 26th as well with 94 cents. All right, so if you total everything together, what I got from Weibo, it will total to $26.01. Now this amount is very significant to me right now because $26 kind of represents that one of my quarterly months 
actually hit like half at least of the highest month that I've got. You know, so far in 2021, we've only had, you know, two months basically. But on January, I got around $50.54 and now I got like $26. So that's more than half of what I got from last month. Now, if you've been watching any of my videos, you'll pretty much notice that a lot of my best months actually dwarf my low months. Usually there are quarters where I make around $60 and then the next one would pretty much be around 10, 13, 14, 15, up to 20. So basically they're around just thirds of what I get for my best months. And now that one of my quarterly months are actually, you know, half of my best month, that really is a very significant, you know, time for me because now I know that okay, this can be very good because now I can keep adding more to these stocks and you know, I can pretty much balance out my dividends every month. And to me, this is very important because if you actually experience roller coaster incomes in your dividend, it might be a little confusing, it might be a little frustrating because what if you're actually using your dividend income to kind of like pay for your bills? It's going to be very hard for you to live because you are experiencing roller coaster income. That means your expenses and your budgeting can also ride that roller coaster as well. So that's what I'm trying to avoid here and that's what I'm working towards, kind of like balancing out every month so that they actually almost, you know, have the same income every month. But anyway, that's it pretty much for my dividend income. However, there is still more. I actually want to show you guys what I've got as free stocks from Webull because I got two free stocks from Webull because somebody signed up through my link and that's very, very powerful. So shout out to that person who actually signed up. You know who you are. I'm mentioning you right now. I'm just not gonna name you, but you know who you are. So thank you for signing up through my link. So if you are interested in getting your own two free stocks from Webull, definitely use the link below to sign up to Webull and deposit at least $100 and then you will get your free stock and then after that you can just sell it or keep it whatever I don't know what you want to do with it those stocks are is yours already and all right so let's go over to the menu icon right here on the bottom right corner and then look for my free stock and then once it loads up you'll see that I have received two new free stocks right here and I've claimed this already you know just because it was about to like expire I don't know that I actually expires to be honest but anyway you can see here that I have two free stocks. We have AR and then AMC. AMC was valued at around $7.68 when I got it, and then AR around $9.67. Now, I'm not planning on keeping any of these two stocks because I don't really care about them, you know? It's not part of my plan. So I'm just going to sell them when I get them, and then after I use the funds to buy stock that I actually care about or add more to any positions that I currently have. So that's pretty much it for me. Like I, when I first opened my Weeble account, I had Eric, Ericsson basically. Uh, we also have MFG. This one, I believe I've mentioned this one or at least kind of like glimpse about it back then because it made a cameo in my dividend income tracker. So, so there you go. But then from then I actually sold them already because you know they're not exactly performing uh, the way I want them to perform but anyway that's pretty much it if you really really want to get your free stock like I said go use the link below to sign up for your own Webull account and you know go ahead just like deposit $100 and then you're good to go once you're done uh, you will get credited or kind of like given like these two free stocks and it could range from like $10 $5 to $10 to even like $1,000 I know some people actually got in like at least like Starbucks, uh, Google, and Facebook stocks. So that, that's pretty crazy. So go ahead, you know, take a shot and then go ahead and get your free stock with Weeble. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching my dividend income update video. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have any suggestions, let me know. If you need any help with uh, um, signing up for Weeble, then let me know as well so I can guide you along the way. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and then share this video, comment any questions like I said. And also add me on Instagram at DailyDread. Uh, we can just chat there. And I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.